Hi, my name is Trevor Dowd, Applications Engineer at DLP with Texas Instruments. The following instructions will help you to upgrade the DLP Lightcrafter DM365 firmware. You can also find the instructions in the Upgrading Firmware section of the User's Guide. If you turn on the DLP Lightcrafter and it gets stuck at 90% without completely booting up to display the RGB color bars, then the DM365 may not be upgraded to the latest firmware version. To start upgrading the firmware, make sure the SD card that you use is one of the supported SD cards. Refer to the E2E forum post regarding tested SD cards to boot the DLP Lightcrafter. We recommend Windows 7 or Windows XP for upgrading the DM365 firmware on your Lightcrafter. The scripts to build the SD cards are only supported for Windows 7 and Windows XP. Before we start upgrading our firmware, it is important to know that the DM365 can run in two modes. It can run directly from an SD card or from the installed NAND flash. When upgrading your firmware, you'll need to select one of these two modes. The first option is to directly boot from an SD card by building the card with the sd.dat file. The switch needs to remain on the side closer to the SD card. The second option is to boot from NAND by building the SD card with the NAND.dat file and wait until the kernel gets copied into NAND. After the kernel gets copied into NAND, move the switch away from the SD card and then remove the card. First, let's download the DLP Lightcrafter software bundle, which contains the Lightcrafter control GUI and firmware files. After you install the software bundle, you'll find its contents in the Texas Instruments DLP folder. Now that we've downloaded and installed the Lightcrafter software bundle, let's step through booting the DLP Lightcrafter from an SD card. You'll need a formatted micro SDHC card. We recommend the transcending 4GB micro SDHC card. To format the SD card, right click the device and click Format. Next, we need to open a command prompt window with administrator permissions. Navigate to the directory in the software bundle that contains the dm365.dat files and the SD card boot utility. Execute the following command lcr boot sd.exe, then LCR DM365 V5 SD.dat on whichever drive the SD card is mounted on. On my computer, it's E. Your drive letter may be different. Make sure that there is a notification that the image is successfully copied. Remove the SD card and insert it inside the slot on the DLP Lightcrafter. Before inserting the SD card, make sure the Lightcrafter is unpowered and unplugged. After inserting the SD card, flip the switch towards the SD card and power the EVM. You will see a series of images known as splash screens project from the EVM. Do not flip the switch to the other side while the device is powered. Note that moving forward, you will always need the SD card inserted in the DLP Lightcrafter and the switch always towards the card. After the splash screens have been completed, the DLP Lightcrafter has booted and you will see RGB bars. The D1 LED should blink red and green continuously if it's operating correctly. After this step, you can connect and control the EVM from the GUI. The GUI is included with the DLP Lightcrafter software and firmware bundle and the DLP LCR software bundle 3.0 folder. After upgrading the DM365 firmware and connecting to the EVM through the GUI, you'll also be able to upgrade the FPGA, MSP430, and the DLP C300 firmware to the latest versions. You've successfully completed a boot through the SD card. Another option is to use the SD card to copy the firmware to the NAND flash. As we did earlier, we need to format the SD card first. Using the command prompt with administrator permissions in the same DM365 directory as last time, execute the following command, lcr boot sd.exe, then lcr dm365 v5 nand.dat on whichever drive the SD card is mounted on. Now let's insert the SD card into the card slot. Make sure the switch is towards the SD card. Power up the DLP Lightcrafter and watch a series of splash images as well as the D1 LED. As soon as the D1 LED turns green, flip the switch away from the SD card and power cycle the DLP Lightcrafter. 
This means it has copied the firmware over to the NAND flash part of the board. Now you can remove the SD card, and it will boot up from NAND. Note that moving forward, the switch always needs to be in the position towards the DM365. Now, the DLP Lightcrafter will boot normally, and you will once again display RGB bars with the D1 LED blinking red and green continuously. For more information on operating your DLP Lightcrafter, visit our ETE forum. Thanks for watching.